Now, if you're at a point in your life where you want more but just don't know in which direction to turn, then this next story might provide some clarity. Francesca Belperio has picked the brain of one of South Australia's most motivated self-made millionaires and he was more than happy to pass on the secrets to success and happiness. The latest research out of Harvard shows that 74% of people are unhappy in their jobs. That worker happiness is at an all-time low globally. If you're like three quarters of the population, then listen in. You don't need a college degree, you don't need wealth, you don't need anything. Anyone can do this. This Adelaide entrepreneurial millionaire knows the science behind success and he's letting us in on his secrets, not to be confused with The Secret. So for example, take The Secret, very popular book, sold millions of copies, it's based on a concept, law of attraction. If you think about something, it will appear in your life. Show me the research that's been done by universities to support their claims. Matthew Michaelwich knows what it's like to succeed. The 37-year-old father was born in Poland, moved to the US and then to Adelaide where he recently sold his fourth business, a software company called Solvit Software, for tens of millions of dollars. I really did a few things that I think anyone can do and that really contributed to my success. Absolutely beautifully remembered. Add to that, he's an accomplished author. His latest book, Life in Half a Second, urges people to seize the day in five simple steps. This book is really the science of success. Everything in the book is not anyone's opinion. It's almost a hundred years of university research, universities like Harvard, MIT, Stanford, Yale, that have done research on what are the factors that impact human performance and achieving success. And there's five factors. The first, Matt says, define what you want to succeed at, then have the desire to pursue it and believe in yourself. Next, I identified people that had already achieved what I wanted to achieve. And the last thing that I did is I didn't let fear hold me back. And the reason that people don't pursue a starting a business or pursuing a dream or a passion is because they're afraid. They're afraid of failing. They're afraid of not being able to support themselves. In fact, some in Adelaide's business community told Matt he was crazy to start a company here. They said to me, you'll never succeed here. There's no capital here. There's no big businesses headquartered here. Uh, it's an old boys network. It's conservative. Uh, all these reasons. And if you believe those things, how much effort are you going to put into achieving anything? People that want, do. People that don't want, talk about doing. That's Matt has turned his success into helping others, speaking and inspiring people to pursue their dreams, be it in business, family or financial freedom. But don't mistake him for a wishy-washy self-help guru. I hate to break it to viewers, but you know what? The universe is not going to give you anything. You've got to go out and get it. Are you reading books? Are you talking to people that have achieved what you want to achieve? Are you going to seminars? And surround yourself with mentors. No secret who fills that role for Matt. Through my whole life, I've admired from the age of eight to today, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And the reason for admiring him is he's the only individual in the world that has reached the top in many disciplines. I hear he's a friend of yours as well. I, we, we have had conversations on success and, and, and uh, I've learned more through him through books. Matt's final message, start now before it's too late. Our existence here is like that. So the question is in that moment, wouldn't it be better to pursue a passion? Do something you love? Try to achieve what you want? Absolutely. Follow your passion, follow your dream, and do it in a way that's proven by science rather than airy-fairy wishful thinking methods.